Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name's Tess and I make videos about stretching our money as far as possible to achieve some of our goals in life. Um, we're a family of four on a limited budget but we do um, manage to save some and we're hoping, my husband and I, that we might be able to retire a little bit early, maybe a year. <laughs> We'll see what we can do. So today's video is my first No Spend January update video. I'm going to do one every week. Um, obviously um, I'm filming this on the 8th of January but the video will go out on the 9th. And truthfully it's been a really interesting and eye-opening experience because um, it, it's really made me even more conscious of what we spend um, and the choices we make than I was before, which I'm really pleased about. But it has made, it's been quite difficult. I have found it difficult so far, partly because there are sales on at the moment. But I just have to keep reminding myself, we don't need anything. <laughs> so I really need to not look. Um, unfortunately, I do like to go on Facebook and Instagram and adverts are there and they know what you like to look at and they put it in front of you. So it's taking a bit of a iron will <laughs> to not buy things we don't need just because they're cheap. Um, that's been my first lesson. My second lesson is, boy, I hadn't quite realised how often we just um, pop to the shop for a little bit of something. Obviously I have my food budget but um, over and above that and I think this is partly a product of having constantly hungry teenage lads. Um, yeah, there, there are just small purchases that have been made over and above the grocery budget. Um, and when we're coming up against those this week, oh mum, can we get some certain kind of biscuits or have we got any orange juice or, you know, those kind of questions that come from the boys. Although I'm um, reasonably careful with money, obviously, um, I hadn't realised quite how much I'll often say, yeah, here's a quid, go to the co-op and get some orange juice or here's 50p, go and get some bourbons <laughs> or something, you know. So we haven't been doing that, um, but yeah, I, it, I've been more aware of those times because we've come up against those situations and been saying no. I've been saying no to myself and to the boys and my husband's been doing the same. So yeah, it's been quite a learning curve. Um, so all we're spending this month is our normal grocery budget, some of which was spent in December, so that's been taken off January's budget. Um, and we have £50 on a co-op card um, in points, which mean that we can spend up to £50 in the co-op on bits and bobs that we need. Um, and it's free because it's accrued over time in points on our co-op card. So um, I did a little bit of a top-up shop a couple of days ago, and I'll put that clip in here. So I'm here with a little bit of a top-up shop from my grocery budget. Um, it's over a week since I did my last grocery shop, so there were just a few handful of things that we needed. So I got some, we needed some bread rolls and I got some that were reduced. We needed some mushrooms. Both myself and my husband were out of coffee. This is my preferred coffee and this is my husband's. And we wanted some crisps. Not a need, but a definite want. So there we go. And I bought these using my co-op points. So I can show you there. This is everything that we bought. 
and that costs £16.99. The co-op isn't cheap but in this instance it's free. So you can see my balance left on my co-op card is £33.74 left to spend. This uh, pack of bread rolls will last us a little while because there are eight in there. One, three for a meal one night and the others I'll freeze or they'll just be eaten generally for lunches. And my coffee will last me a long time, way beyond January. Uh, my husband's will last probably a week. There we go. So that's my first small top-up shop. And um, my husband's bought a couple of other things. So I'll tell you our totals. So our grocery budget start in January, given that I've done some shopping for January in December, was £141.18. And so far we've spent £40.68, which leaves us £100.50 for the rest of January. That's from the grocery budget. And um, in co-op points we had £50.73p. And so far we've spent £29.19, and pence, leaving £21.55 for the rest of January. Um, so I'm mean, kind of okay with that. Um, we're well within our budget and um, yeah, taking it as a go really. I am looking on this month as a, quite a, a lesson really. It surprised me. <laughs> Um, so yes, I am. There, we've had a couple of other spends, but they are within the realms of um, essential expenses, so they're not included in your spend January, but they are not kind of automatic payments for utilities that go out. So I'll tell you what they were. Um, one was £9.35, just checking the book, <laughs> £9.35, which was for a prescription that we needed to get. Um, and on January the 1st, and this made me laugh because I thought, oh, I want no spend January. Of course, it's going to happen on the 1st of January, <laughs> get us off to a good start. Um, my husband went out, as you know, if you've watched one of my previous videos, he goes out and walks and takes photographs in the hills. And so he went off on New Year's Day in the car to um, find somewhere nice to walk and didn't get more than, I don't know, a quarter of a mile away and got a flat tyre. And when he got out of the car to look at it, there was a huge screw that had gone into the tyre. <laughs> so um, he spent ages getting that tyre off and putting the spare tyre on so that he could still go and do his walk and um, so we're going to need to replace that tyre. Uh, we haven't yet, I don't know what it's going to cost us. Um, we have a lot going on at the moment <laughs> and so time hasn't allowed really and we haven't been anywhere else um, in the car and the spare's good so we've got four good tyres but we do need to get that replaced so that we've got a spare again. And um, yeah, so they were both uh, not foreseen, I suppose, but necessary spends. So yeah, I'm kind of wondering how you're all doing. Um, oh, one last thing. Um, so I've been filling in the tracker and I'm hoping you can see that. I am sorry that's backwards on my screen. But we've had no, um, we've had seven no spend days in the sense that there's been no discretionary spending. We've only spent on food, a prescription, and not yet, but we will have to very soon, um, but on the tyre. Um, nothing else that we haven't needed has been bought. Um, so that's, I'm really chuffed with that because there were lots of things we could have 
It's amazing how many times it comes up. You know, one of the kids will say, oh, I've seen a book I want, or um, can I buy a game? They have their own pocket money, so if they want to do something like that, they can use the pocket money. Um, but they often try and ask us first. You know, if mum and dad will pay for it, why not ask them first? <laughs> um, yes, so no um, days where we've bought anything that we didn't need that wasn't budgeted for, you know, food or prescriptions. And then obviously I'll, I'll let you know how much the tyre ends up costing us. Um, and hopefully nothing else will break or get damaged this month because we really want to save as much as we can really given we even though we're careful we were quite spendy in December. So I'm interested to know how you're all doing and um, lots of you are doing no spend January as well and unlike me it's not your first time lots of you do no spend years I'm super impressed because this is actually proving harder for me than I thought, but I'm sticking to it, so there I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm well impressed with those of you that do no spend years and regularly do no spend months. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below. I'm very interested to know. Um, yeah. It's, um, it's a learning curve, is what I would call this first week. So that's the position heading into week two. Um, I'm just trying to think. We've got a lot of things like hospital appointments and... Um, yeah, lots of things. We've got a busy, busy week coming up. Um, so we'll see how that challenges me. <laughs> it should be okay. Um, once we've got the tyre sorted out, we'll just be driving places and obviously if we need any diesel, we'll put that in the car, but um, otherwise, uh, you know, so if we're going to be out for the whole day, I'll make sure I take pack up um, and water bottles and flasks of coffee and tea and that kind of thing. So it should be okay. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope your no spend January has been going swimmingly so far let me know how you're doing and i will catch you all later bye for now